welcome viewers welcome to the new lesson from dr arts biology if you did not subscribe the channel you can just click on the subscribe button and bell icon welcome students this particular lesson is specially dedicated to the type of holotrophy or the mechanism of nutrition that is coprophagy we have just mentioned coprophagy under holotrophic nutrition in the previous lesson now we are just going into details of what is the mechanism definition significance and examples for the coprophagy okay this is a must question or we can say it's an important question for the two mark you will be getting so make sure that you are learning this particular lesson well Okay, so coprophagy, what is meant by that? It is actually the refeeding, re-ingestion of the fecal matter of these organisms again. So two, type, two times the food is digested. The food will be passing through the digestive tract two times. So that mechanism is known as the coprophagy. How can we define that? It is actually a fecal feeding mechanism where the food will be passing through the digestive system two times and the organism will be feeding its own fecal matter for the complete digestion of food and that mechanism is known as the coprophagy it will be otherwise known as the refection make sure you are knowing this particular second name because the question paper setting person can confuse you with the term refection and you will be getting question like uh, define refection and uh, what is its significance so at that time you have to keep in mind that refection is nothing but the coprophagy. Okay. And also it is otherwise known as the pseudo rumination. Okay. Make sure that you are knowing these two names, extra name. Now let us see the mechanism how coprophagy will be working. So the freshly eaten food will be masticated and directly it will be moving into the cecum. Okay, it will be directly moving into the cecum without staying there in the stomach, without staying there in the intestine. It will be directly moving into the cecum. Cecum, you are familiar because you know the extension of intestine where you can find so many symbiotic bacteria and they will be helping in the digestion. In turn, they will be taking the nutrients. Okay, so that region is the cecum and you can find numerous, numerous symbiotic bacteria. So in cecum, the digestion content, the cellulose content of the food will be digested with the help of symbiotic bacterial enzyme. And after the cellulose digestion, the food material will be forming a specialized fecal matter known as the soft fecus. It will be forming soft fecus. And this soft fecus will be, when it is coming out of the anus, before dropping, it will be just re-ingested. That means it will be directly taken into the mouth without dropping on the earth. But directly from the anus, it will be taken. So re-ingestion will be taking place directly from the anus. Now the food is there in the mouth again. It will not be masticated. It will be just swallowed. It will not be grinding with the teeth. Instead, it will be just swallowed. Okay. Now, it will be moving into the fundus region of the stomach where it will be stored for hours to complete the gastric digestion. Once the gastric digestion is over, it will be just moving into the intestine and where you can find the complete digestion and the absorption of the nutrients that is resulted from the digestion. So complete digestion and the absorption will be taking place inside the intestine. Once it is over, it will be just moving into the rectum directly without reaching there in the cecum. It will be just moving into the rectum and from rectum, it will be undergoing ejection process through the anus. So dropping is taking place. So that is the pathway of the food in coprophagy or the passage of food in coprophagy and the mechanism behind the coprophagy. Now let us see what is the significance of this particular coprophagic process. For what purpose the organisms are eating its own fecal matter? First of all, it will be increasing the digestion process. It will be increasing the utilization of food. It will be increasing the absorption of nutrients. 
So the complete digestion, absorption and utilization of food is the main significance of this particular mechanism coprophagy. And uh, we can see that uh, vitamin K and biotin content uh, will be increased. We know that it is regulatory molecule, regulatory nutrients and it will be increased with the help of coprophagy. And finally, we can find as this particular organism is utilizing maximum of food material that is taken, we can see that the growth rate of animal will be increasing. Growth rate of animal which are showing coprophagy, which are following coprophagy will be increased. So these are the three main significance of this particular process. And we should know the examples of the organisms, animals which are following the coprophagy that are nothing but rabbits, hares, then guinea pig, etc. Okay, rodents, shrews, etc. will be following this particular mechanism of nutrition. Make sure that you are having enough idea about this particular thing. Two mark math question. Okay, hope the session is clear for you and it's helpful for you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Let's move to the next lesson. Don't forget to see the screenshot.